What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you another YouTube video. Yes, the fake lasers, the gimmicks. It's Christmas Eve. Will your Christmas dreams come true? Will you get that gift, right? From the place that, that, that gives you a gift that keeps on not giving, which is Cash of X. But before I begin, international now, worldwide syndicated. Giving you the latest in cash effects news. Because it's just me. Alright, giving you the real news. And then you have bald headed dildos out there. That give you dashboard money news. And then uh, there's ones out there that never came back. Like Errol Flynn, for example. Not Errol Flynn. Uh, Errol Miller, I think his name. He said he'll come back when he gets his withdrawal. And he hasn't come back since. I mean, I see laughable stuff like that. Or douchebag on autopilot that uh, talks about how he's on a he's trying to be on a journey of making a thousand dollars a day, but like eight hundred dollars of it is from cash effects. So it's like, uh, where's that journey coming from? <laughs> making a thousand dollars a day? You're not making jack shit a day, and that's a uh, dumbass on autopilot for you, All right? If you want to go check him out, he, he's talking about his top money is uh, yield nodes, which is not paying. Cash of X is not paying. And so when you knock all that down, he's all has money tied up into Manifest FX. And it's paying, what, a couple hundred dollars uh, at most in a month. Not a day, in a month. <laughs> so $1,000 a day, bullshit. And <laughs> a couple hundred a month. <laughs> Man. All right, so you got a bunch of losers up in this space. All right, so... Uh, what I want to cover today is, uh, I can't go into the dashboard because they haven't given me my, uh, reset password access because, uh, I don't know, they booted me out a long time and they suspended me, all right, and my old thing is I got out back in February 2021, it's going to be almost two years since I get out of this thing because I saw the writing on the wall already, and so we're going to look back at what's been going on so far, all right, because there's been a lot of false promises and you know zero payouts and where we stand right now and so um let's go talk about that all right so is are they going to make your dreams come true are you, you going to make your wishes of being paid out for christmas come to fruition and the answer is still a no remember a year ago when Kinnear made that video and he said that, oh, you know, we're going to get everybody caught up by the end of the year. Okay. And that didn't happen. Nor did it carry over into the new year, which is 2022 now. And besides a little bit of payouts at the beginning of the year, it's been zero for the most part ever since. So we are on a cusp of really getting close to locking it in a, a whole year of no payouts and all you guys are hanging in there like a bunch of idiots all right and i know some of you have no choice but then there's others of you like douchebags on autopilot and dumbass dildos uh bald-headed dildos that uh you know keep pumping out stuff like it's all good that they're getting paid but you're only getting paid digital dashboard dollars right that will never touch your account and so where do we stand with that hmm let's see what else here oh uh, the payment solution that was supposed to happen well supposed to be beginning of quarter two but it didn't get pushed off till summer which was kind of like arguably middle of quarter three that was the payment solution being be paid but yet there's still no solution because there's been no pay. And so then we move on to uh, Academy P2 cycle. All right, so P2C is what they call it, right? And this is just a, a platform where you kind of learn how to trade and all that. It's all educational stuff, right? And we've been down this road before, right? If you ever seen Cuba Life, they really pushed off all their passive part, or quote unquote the trading packs. Cuba Life did the same thing and try to push the education aspect of it with zero 
uh, out of the trading pack type of packages. Cuba Life did the same thing. <laughs> and shortly after, it died. I mean, Cuba Life just went by the wayside. And uh, because there, there, no one cares about paying for education, they want passive income money. That's just the truth. All right. And no one cares about this education crap. If you want to pay for this education crap, there's there's plenty of ways to find it without going through a, a site that all of a sudden was doing a passive income type of platform to now education, right? But they're saying this is just only uh, not even really the next phase. This is just kind of the bridge to phase two. It took a long time just to get to this bridge, all right? The bridge of nowhere. <laughs> it was zero for the year, bridge to nowhere. And you think phase two is going to do something? Do you truly think that after a year of not paying nothing, that all of a sudden they're just going to start paying out something? Like, hey, okay, we're going to open up the doors again. And No, come on, guys. The longer this paying out stuff holds out, the the more likely they're not going to pay even worse now than earlier before, right? Because as the days go on, the likelihood goes up every day of not paying ever again, all right? So with that, we're on the verge of a whole year of not getting paid now. So what what makes you think? That's going to change now. Oh, because they're going to do copy trade and all of a sudden it's good? Or you're going to be dumb enough to sign up for this. They're going to migrate your stuff over. But yet you still got to pay $150. Right? That's just money they're just going to collect from you anyways. And do you think that you're going to get something out of that? Get real. Do you think people are going to be excited about paying an additional $150? Or even new people joining in and pay 150 bucks to join this thing and say, "Oh, hey, uh, share the links, guys, and uh, talk about how great this education is of P2C via Cash of X, and uh, watch how great you're gonna make out of this thing." Man, you guys are gonna be very, 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 very disappointed. All right, it's just too bad. And so, uh, let's see here. The update of it is that they have added a second option to withdraw funds on P2C, which is USDT wallet. This would have solved the issue of cash of X, right? Uh, uh, you know, with the whole Forex trading aspect, right? And it's arguable if it's real or fake, whatever. It doesn't matter. The point of it is they were doing trading in Forex, all right? So, if you're trading in Forex, a quick little detail of that is that you have crypto. You give them Bitcoin. They sell Bitcoin for fiat. All right, fiat is being traded in the forex market, forex trading. So whatever results they get from the forex trading, as the days go on throughout the week, as they did trading five days a week, they would then, you know, hit the stop button and be like, all right, this is what the earnings got for the week. Now from there, they could have easily went this route. And pay out in stablecoin a long, long, long time ago, right? But instead, they would buy Bitcoin back and say, "Here you go. Here's your Bitcoin of what you earn." But as we know, when there's volatility in crypto, uh, whatever movements are going on, whatever stuff that may be happening, those are always excuses for them to not pay Bitcoin, right? Because this is happening in the market. This is happening in the market. Hoskar is out on his yacht with no internet. He can't push the button. Things like that. And so with that, they use those excuses to not pay you Bitcoin anymore, right? And as the time went on, and this is even in a bull market. Now the bear market, that's even a bigger excuse not to pay. You'd be like, yeah, well, it's a bear market right now. You know, so much volatility, we can't pay this thing. So we're just going to have to hold on to it till it settles down a little bit. Right? Even all this sideways movement is not going to settle down enough for them. So that could have been done a long time ago. P2C is a separate platform from CFX and is education related. We will announce a global launch soon as well as when withdrawals are available. 
A corporate presentation schedule will be released soon. CFX withdrawals will be available when the debit card is released. <laughs> Wasn't that supposed to be a release back in the summer, right? The debit card, the, this is what we talked about, right? Uh, the B&B Pay, right? The debit card? It's not going to be released, even when they do release the debit card, all right? Let's keep it real. Uh, when the launch date or timeline is given, we will post it here. Thank you for your patience. And here is another touching letter from Huascar Lopez, all right? And uh, dear CFX family, during this special time here, we know how important it is to be in touch with family and friends. At CFX, we value communicating with our members. And the entire corporate team has been working behind the scenes to deliver and provide you with services that you deserve. Trade movements are lower than normal and forest market during Christmas. As such, CFX will show very little trade activity during this time. Trading team and EAs will continue working throughout the holiday season for specific days. From Thursday 22nd to Monday 26th, trading activity will be closed. We will then continue trading from 27th until Thursday 29th. Alright, so you're only going to get, what, three days of trading for this past week that just passed. And only three days of trading next week. Finally, trading will be closed on uh, until January 3rd. We wish you the best of the holiday season. Merry Christmas and a prosperous new 20, <laughs> prosperous, right? 2023. Thank you for being a part of CFX, right? And uh, yeah, <laughs> how exciting, right? Uh, you're going to have less <laughs> dashboard results for these next two weeks, unfortunately. So I know those... Uh, Bald-headed dildos are probably not too excited to get smaller amounts of dashboard money that's coming these next two weeks on their riveting videos that they put out about how great it is and <laughs> amazing, simply amazing what they, what they always say, you know. What a bunch of idiots. And uh, I guess douchebag on autopilot, the dashboard results not going to come into play either this week. It's going to be disappointing for these next two weeks for him as well on his version of making $1,000 a day, right? What a dumbass. And so, when you look at all this stuff, man, this whole thing has become a joke, all right? And these guys are going to continue to string you along and string you along. All I got to say is, if you give up that $150 to join this P2C crap, uh, you're going to just kiss it goodbye. You're not going to you're not going to see that again, just like the rest of your trading pack results you're not going to ever see again. And all they're doing is just spinning wheels all day long, just spinning wheels. And all you're doing is running around in circles. <laughs> Round and around we go when, uh, whenever we stop. <laughs> uh, the money will flow, but the money won't flow. You're just going to be spinning, spinning, spinning. All right? This is all just a spin game for these guys. They don't give a shit about you because where's Hoskar been? Where has he been? Where's Hoskar? All right? I mean, he's been in seclusion for quite some time now, all right? With his nasally voice and... uh you know, all the good fortunes of being a yacht. Where's, where's the anniversary this year, right? Is it because it's it's a bear market? It's been a bad year. They didn't pay jack shit for this whole year. And so they didn't do a whole anniversary event because that would just kind of like be rubbing it in your face like, hey, guys, I mean, to have an anniversary event and to have zero results for the year, yeah, that would be a bad move definitely because you're going to have a riot <laughs> knocking on your door all right when that if you had that little party right man all i gotta say is stay tuned for next week as we close off for the end of the year with uh continue of the promise of not paying you money right they're gonna promise you that that they're gonna close out the year of not paying you any money zero debit cards uh, zero P2C, because that thing hasn't been launched yet. They're not going to launch that thing at all until, uh, what do they say, like, second quarter? End of, no, end of the first quarter. Man, that's a long time. And so, we're just going to carry on with, uh, zero results. <laughs> and a bunch of dummies out there that's still going to post like they got something out of this when they really didn't. And that leaves you as a person with yet another week of just simply nothing. Man, it's just been a terrible year for Cash Effects and everybody else that's been a part of it. Uh, I mean, I've been giving you guys the real news and I'm going to keep cranking it as we go along. So here's to Crypto Muscle and CFX. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. And we'll see you next week. Zero, zero, zero.